All right, get ready to pop some popcorn. Noir Nights returns to Kiggins Theater. You'll be able to watch some of the classic crime and mystery films that defined the genre. Cor Harlan joins us live this morning from downtown Vancouver with a preview of what's playing, Cor. Boy, hi Ken, hi Emily, good morning everybody. Boy, this is a neat old theater built here in 1936 along Main Street in uh, downtown Vancouver. We're in the lobby here, standing next to the original projector. They used to show what are now a lot of classic movies there. That is a, uh, looks like a pretty cumbersome device uh, from, uh, from an age that's long gone past. Uh, and you mentioned the beginning of Noir Night tonight. Uh, show starts uh, about seven o'clock tonight here at the Kiggins Theater. We'll uh, kind of part the curtains here a little bit and introduce you to Dan Wyatt, who's the owner and the proprietor here at uh, at uh, Kiggins Theater. Hi, you're you're in costume this morning. You're looking good. I I'm dressed as a flatfoot right out of the <laughs> film noir series. <laughs> Tonight's movie, Strangers on a Train, starts at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Correct. Talk to me a little bit about the uh, noir nights, uh, the return of those, and classic movies in general. I just think there's a there's a hard-nosed group of people that love on a rainy winter night to do nothing more than go into a movie theater, spend a couple hours uh, in the mid-1950s, having an Alfred Hitchcock mystery before. Them, Absolutely. Right? Yeah, this has been a long-running series for us, Noir Nights. Um, originally started with a, a film noir, Pinot Noir wine pairing. We've kind of shifted a little bit and played with themes and... We're on a uh, rail series or a train series of these uh, next three films. These will all be uh, on Monday nights. Uh, second Mondays every month. Second Mondays every month. And yep. it's a, uh, the, 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 you mentioned the train thing. Did yep. Hitchcock have a lot of train movies or, or not? So, or just, just, oh, you know, I don't know. It was just, we just saw there was a lot of uh, a series of films that uh, fit together because tied together by trains. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. The next one, uh, Narrow Margin, a woman's being transported across the country is a mob witness uh, testifying against the mob so she's being protected on this train ride uh -huh. and then uh, in March we have uh, Deanna Durbin in um, Lady on a Train. Well this is cool theater it's been redone all the seats are luxury seats you've got a couple things going in your direction here too uh, first I don't know if a lot of folks know this I didn't know this actually there's actually a law in the books in the state of Washington 2013 the Correct. Kiggins Kiggins Law, Bill. Kiggins, Kiggins Bill. Bill yep. actually allowed small theaters to have alcohol so they serve alcohol in here beer wine and alcohol uh, the restaurant next door is... Across the street, Basolo the Pizzeria. Street, Basolo Pizzeria. You can get pizza or food and bring it over here to the theater and eat while you're in the theater. So that's another cool thing going in this direction. And there's a lot of other things going on here, too, besides movie. You've got... I, I just checked the website. There's tons of things going on here. We have stand-up comedy on Thursday, Comedy on Tap, uh, feature local or uh, regional comics. Uh -huh. um, we have a kids series uh, restarting again called Wiggles and Giggles. Uh, those will be Saturday mornings. Uh, first one is um, so this coming Saturday. Uh -huh. uh, features the amazing Bubble Man. No, excuse me, next Saturday. Uh -huh. um, so that's starting up this fall and then, uh, or this winter. And then we have Banff Film Festivals returning again for, I think, the seventh year. That Banff thing is really cool. Oh, the it's climbing, huge. The climbing yep. documentary, right? Yeah, all kinds of outdoor adventure stuff. Yeah. Yep. A lot of cool programming coming up here. And it's a neat, uh, kind of a neat, really neat venue. Part of uh, uh, Vancouver's uh, original history here, the mayor, Kiggins, the mayor of Kiggins was a, Kiggins was a mayor here for a long time and uh, had a lot of things going on here. Uh, and then, and uh, others since him have done a lot to restore the theater, keep the theater in good working order with some classic films. Again, that begin uh, Noir Night tonight. Strangers on a Train. There's Alfred Hitchcock up on the screen there. Says uh, he's got an L in his hand. Stranglers on the Train. I don't want to give the, the plot away, but. No spoilers. It, it involves trains. It involves <laughs> strangling of wives. <laughs> and uh, I mean, that's, that's I, I read the trailer, Stranglers of Wives, so. Uh, 7 o'clock tonight here at Kiggins Theater in downtown uh, Vancouver, the return of Noir Night this evening. All right, that, that is just great. Anything Hitchcock, I'm really yeah. into. Alfred Hitchcock was an incredible filmmaker for that type of genre. It's fun to go enjoy some of the older classics with the modern amenities of a, <laughs> oh, of a spruced yeah. up theater, you know, <laughs> it's kind of fun. Get yourself a couple slices of pizza from across the street, uh -huh. get yourself a nice little cocktail, nice. lean back in the real comfortable yeah. chairs yeah. and uh, check out some Hitchcock. With a Pinot Noir for a yeah. Noir night, I like that idea. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun, <laughs> fun name. Yeah, yeah kind of cool. 